Andrew. Do I call you Andrew or Andy? Uh, Andy. Whatever you want, Keith. And this is my TED talk about um, Andy Goldstein. You may know him from the sound of his voice on radio because he does talk sport. Andrew, do I call you Andrew or Andy? Uh, Andy, whatever you want, Keith. I'm feeling um, like I should call you Andrew. It's like a, we're in a serious environment right now. This is not my usual environment, but this is quite a serious environment. I should call you Andrew or Mr. Goldstein. Yeah, I'll call you back, Connie. I'll call you back. Can you hear me? Is it working? Can you hear me? Oh, poor connection. Yeah, yeah. It says poor connection. <laughs> Loads of me. Hello? I'll have to apologise um, for the connection, uh, Mr. Goldstein. The connection Hello? in my the connection in my house is a. It's gone still. It's gone still. He no. stopped. What does your um, Saturday normally consist of? What What do you do? Is it just a chill there? Watching the football. What is it you love about football? Because you're football oh, no, crazy, no, no. you're I mean, football mad. Is there a song that goes like that? I'm football crazy, I'm football mad. And football's taken away a little bit of sense I had, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm... yeah. Well, that's you, isn't it, in a nutshell? You know what I don't like about football? I'll be honest with you, straight off. Good. I don't like the sound of football. <sighs> What do you prefer, um, football or snooker then? Um, it's a close call. Obviously football, I adore football more than anything in the world. And snooker is a very close second. But we have had conversations in the past about um, snooker and you talked mm. very favourably uh, about your hero who is... What's his name? Who do you think it, who do you think it is? What snooker player? Michael Parkinson, I don't know any. <laughs> Steve Davis says. Yeah. Steve Davis says. Kevin Keegan. Jimmy White. Jimmy White was my hero. Jimmy White, and you've met Jimmy White, haven't you? Tell us about it. Please, <laughs> please, <laughs> please. I work with him. Now you're into Star Wars, aren't you? Um, I'll be honest with you, I've got a lot more into Star Wars since I've become friendly with you. What is the next thing you're gonna buy? Well, I've just I've just bought a Boba Fett mask, which doesn't come out for a month. And so what will I'm, you do with it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to open it up and look at it and go, oh my god, that's amazing. Because yeah. you could turn it upside down and use it as a planter. Well, how much have you paid for Star Wars? What's the most expensive one? Quite expensive. Do you, do you sometimes, when you go to work, when you're doing talking sport, that you're going to run out of talking sport and you just go, I've oh, said it all, I'm not, sorry for cursing. I, we'll never run out, we'll never run out. It's like you running out of games for so many years, that will never ever happen. So, any of your other grown-up mates that also talk about sport that possibly are into Star Wars and little figures, um, what do they think of your obsession with Star Wars? They're all just fascinated by it. Geek is quite an in thing now, isn't it? It's geek chic, as it were. There's a word that I was thinking about the other day that's only been relevant like in the past half a year. What was it? Can't remember. He's just going to get his dog now, viewers. Oh, here it is. So that's Sprockets from Fraggle Rock. Look at him, look at you. Look, he's looking, staring at you. Look. Is that Fraggle Rock? <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to say thanks, Mr. Goldstein, for chatting. I've run out of beer. You need a top up of your wine. I'll still cheers you with me empty can. I love you, Keith. Cheers. Oh, best if I don't see you for a week. Through a window. Say it again, because it went down then. Window. No, you're just saying through a window. If I don't see you for a week... <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> see ya. Or subscribe and whatever. I don't know what you say.